Today on The Learning Landing, I'm going to be showing you a DIY Montessori solution to making your own spindle box. This is a Montessori spindle box. As you can see, it goes from zero to nine. Um, zero is very important. You'll notice that that is empty. Um, you'll see that it has the, the font the same way that you'll see your child will see it in their classroom or in other Montessori works. Um, and if you look, the spindles fit exactly four across so that the child, once they get used to this work, they can start to see um, that you know there's one more um, each time and they fit exactly that way across which is really nice um, they're made out of wood um, and they're all so they're designed so that as the child starts to pick them up then they can feel the the growing quantity the child should put them in one at a time into the spots so I'm going to go ahead and get started on showing you how to um, put this um, work together on your own if you don't have access to a spindle box I got these at any kind. I got these at any kind of school supply store, um, and I'm just going to cut them open here. You're going to need ten, um, even though we usually think of numbers as one through nine. When Montessori, we always start with zero. Um, zero is an important thing, especially as you move into um, some of the bigger works that have um, place holding as an important part of them. So I'm going to lay out nine. on the learning landing for you to download. So no cost is completely free. You just go in, you'll register as a customer, and then um, you can download this as our gift to you. And this has the numbers zero through nine in the Danelian font, which is the font most often used in Montessori. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut those out. If you're planning on using this for a while, then I would probably recommend printing it on cardstock or uh, maybe even laminating them. And just like the spindle box, we're gonna put it on the inside of each number. So um, since I'm just doing this as a demonstration, I'm just going to use tape. Um, if you were going to do this as a, a longer a work that your, your child was planning on using for a while, you might want to use um, maybe hot glue and a laminated cardstock to keep it to last a little bit longer. This is a work that the child can do um, for quite a bit of time. Usually it's going to be um, pre-K. Um, sometimes uh, you'll see a, a kindergartner using this as well, but usually it is uh, a pre-K work, um, usually used in the, the three to six year old classroom. So um, you're also going to need 45 pencils. Um, if you've ever wondered what zero plus one plus two all the way to nine is, it's 45. And the reason that you need exactly 45 is this way if the child gets to the end and they're short or they have an extra, then they know that they made a mistake somewhere along count the counting um, and they can go ahead and correct that error. Because in Montessori we want everything to be self-correcting where the child can uh, independently figure out whether they did it correctly or not. So I have, just like me, I didn't get nine out. So there we go. So we're going to want to put this on a tray. Um, now, because these because these baskets are so big, um, it, you might have to stack a couple of them. Normally in a Montessori presentation, um, you would see them just like in the spindle box all in one area. Um, or you could lay it out on the shelf and have them carry it one by one to a work mat. Um, and you would just set the, the work up for the child, showing them the first time. The reason I use pencils is because they're round like the spindle box, they're inexpensive. And so just like the spindle box, um, the spindles in the spindle box, they'll be able to feel them that have a three-dimensional feel and they're round. Um, so you could, when you present it to the child, we're going to say we're going to work on our spindle box today. So how many go in zero? Zero go in zero because zero is nothing. Zero is none. And then one, one, two. You always want to have them count them out one at a time instead of putting them in all as a group because it's easier to lose count that way. And then one, two, three, all the way till nine. If they get to nine and you've wanted to, you've counted out ahead of time the 45 that they're supposed to have, then you'll say, oh, well, what happened? Let's go ahead and count back and, re and um, check them because we don't want to tell a child they did it wrong. We want to help them find their own mistake on their own so they can correct it for next time. 
So I hope that helps you give you the tools in order to make your own spindle box. If um, finding the materials and putting it together isn't something that you're interested in, we do have this um, spindle box that comes with the box and the spindles that are all made out of wood. Um, it's a very sturdy thing. This actual set has been used for about a year in my home and it still looks brand new. Um, so uh, they are very durable and so they can handle multiple children. Um, and even they hold their resale value very well. So if you decided to sell it later to some another family that was working on reinforcing skills or homeschooling, that would be an option for you as well. We sell that for less than $40. Um, so if you wanted to check on our website, we have that available. Thanks and have a great day.